Here, Adam, 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 Adam. Where are you, little Adam, 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 Adam? Uh, Mr. Sams? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm looking for atoms because I want to see those little parts that are inside the atom, those subatomic particles. Uh, Mr. Sams, I got news for you. Huh? You, you can't see them with that. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just seeing a bunch of fuzz. But maybe I just need to focus it. Oh, focus? Focus, yeah. I don't think that's going to help you. Why not? Well, you see that thing? That microscope uh -huh. is not strong enough. This is not a, a, a tunneling scanning electron microscope? I believe not. It's just a little stereoscope. It might make your finger look big, but it's not going to do anything else. There oh, you go. Hey, look at that. Check it out. Cool. We can see your finger. Yeah. yeah. See how you can see your fingernail. But you know what? Atoms are just too small. We learned in the last podcast that atoms are itty bitty. Remember the. I do. And what we're going to learn about today is not even just the atoms are itty bitty, but the things inside of them. Uh -huh. We're going to learn about how to count them and stuff. They're just like beyond There's itty a lot bitty. Of dirt underneath my fingernail. That's gross. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So today, guys, what are we going to learn? Subatomic particles. Subatomic particles. Subatomic particles. Well, here we are. Today what we want to do is we want to start counting subatomic particles. So this is a video podcast at 2.2. And so, what are the parts of an atom? Something we need to talk about. Um, one thing is a thing called a proton. Proton. A proton. And a proton, if you really want to envision it, is really just a, like a tiny sphere mm -hmm. inside of the nucleus of an atom. By the way, it has a spin on it. You can see this little uh, curvy deal. As you want to know, uh, scientists believe they're spinning. So, yep. so that's a proton. Yep, they have a positive charge, by the way. Anything that they have a positive. Yeah, proton positive. They have a positive charge. All right. A neutron. What's the story of a neutron? Also, kind of like a tiny little sphere, you would find him in the... Nucleus. Now, neutron comes from the word... Neutral. Neutral. Okay. So, it has a no, tra no charge. No neutral. charge. Yeah. No. So that's but it has a mass very, very close to that of a proton. Yes, yeah, so you can say that the mass of a proton is about equal to the mass at mass of the neutron. Actually, N0, or P positive, would be the appropriate symbol. Yeah, that. a little abbreviation yeah. for them. Yeah, okay. And then lastly, there are electrons. Electrons. And I've got them like moving here. That's kind of cool, isn't it? No, they're electrons are much, much smaller than very, protons very and small, neutrons. In fact, they're about 10,000 times less massive. And they are small. Very small. And they are abbreviated E negative. Because they have a negative charge. Because they have a negative charge. And where do you find them? Uh, they're kind of buzzing around the nucleus. On the outside. On the outside, the yeah. And they're kind of moving in the picture there. Yeah. Yeah, kind of cool. Now, um, how do we count electrons? So let's kind of learn how to count. So if I've got uh, the periodic table, so mm -hmm. everybody, if you not, have, do not have your periodic table. You should get your periodic table out. Yep. And you get it out, and you need to just see if we can figure out how many electrons. So let's take uh, boron right here. All right. So boron is element number five. That's atomic number five. That means it has five protons. Okay. Actually, we're talking about electrons, Mr. Sams. Yep. So if yeah. you know protons, we can find electrons. That's true. So actually, let's just kind of talk this through. Um, if we've got boron, if it's atomic number right here, that's the smaller number. Mm -hmm. Okay. On all elements. Yep. So it's a whole number. It's a whole number, and the atomic number is equal to the number of protons, and it's also equal to the number of electrons. Yep, that's because atoms are neutral. They don't have an overall charge, so however many positive protons they have, they have to have an equal number of negative electrons. So boron would have five protons, sorry about that line, guys, and five electrons. Yep. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah, very easy. Okay. Let's do one more. Oh, go back? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I got a page for practice, but let's grab one here. Yeah. Um, let's do gold. Gold right. is element 79. Yep. And actually, we'll throw that other number in there, and we'll come back to it. Gold is element number 79. Actually, the way you abbreviate that, you put the 79 on the bottom, mm -hmm. which is atomic number. I know your periodic table here probably is backwards. And his other number, his uh, we'll atomic mass, let's just kind of round that and call that 197. So, well, the, this is the atomic number. Mm -hmm. So the number of protons yep. is equal to 79. 79. And the also, it's equal to the number of electrons. electrons. So it, it's 79 protons, 79 electrons. How many neutrons are in there? Well, you know, actually, it's pretty easy because the weight of an atom, uh, the mass of the atom, which is actually called the mass number. And that's that number at the top, that 197, right? Yeah. Okay. Would be equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. That's a P 
P there. So P plus neutrons, well, we know in this case that the mass number is 197. Okay, and we know the protons. Protons 79. would be 79 plus the neutrons. All right, so if we could just subtract 79. Yeah, so if you just subtract 79 from both sides, a little algebra here, right? Minus 79. Of course, this comes out to zero. Mm -hmm. So 197 minus 79 yep. would be your answer. 116? 118? 118. 118, yeah. So um, we don't have the calculator showing on there. We could, but it's just 118. So the number of neutrons, which is simply the um, mass number minus the atomic number, atomic number cool. equals the neutrons. That's not too bad. Oh, All right. Easy. Let's do uh, one more, maybe. Just uh, grab one. Which one do you want to do, Mr. Sims? Um, this one's saying counting protons. Iron. Iron. The iron. Iron is an interesting element because it's Fe. comes from the word ferrous. Sorry, that's Iron Man. Iron Man. Oh, I was thinking like iron, like heavy metal. Yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. All right, so iron, let's draw him out. It'd be Fe, uh, 26, put the number there, and 56. So he's going to have 26 protons. 26 protons, because that's his atomic number. 26 electrons, same thing. Electrons, and, and he's going to have 56 30, minus 26, yeah, which is 30 neutrons. Neutrons. Cool. That's not too bad. No, no, not at all. All right. All right. Yeah, I that's think, probably good enough. Yeah, I think we've done that. So guys, yeah. uh, it's just add and subtract, and um, you're good on that. All right. Now there's one more thing we need to show you, and yeah. sometimes things have a charge, a plus or a minus on them. Now, the way we get a plus or a minus charge is we gain or we lose electrons. The only thing in a chemical change that's going to move around are electrons. Now, we can move the protons and neutrons in nuclear reactions, but that's kind of beyond the scope of where we're going right now. So, the only way we're going to change the charge is by gaining or losing electrons. And if we remember correctly, the electrons are negatively charged. So, if I have something with a negative charge, let's say maybe chloride, Cl minus, what that is, that's a chlorine atom with a negative charge. So how did it get a ne its negative charge? Well, let's actually written. go back and look at chlorine okay. on the periodic table. I think All that right. would make life a lot easier. Here's a couple screens okay. back. So here's chlorine. He's 17 and 35, let's say. We'll talk later in the next podcast about how they kind of go together. So he's 17 and 35, right? Mm -hmm. And so we would say there were 17 protons. Because that's its atomic number. That number changes. It says 17. 17 pen is being strange. Yeah, so. I don't know. 17 protons. But here's the trick on this one, because in order for him to negative charge, he needs to have an one extra more, an electron. Extra electron. So it's normally kind of it would have 17 electrons as well, but with the negative charge it has 18 electrons. And this is like negative one. And so right. if you add 17 plus negative 18, that mm -hmm. adds up to negative one. You don't worry about the neutrons because they have no charge, right. so they don't add to the, or, or subtract from the charge. Right. Now notice what Mr. Sams did here, is he only played around with electrons. Right. And it's kind of a weird thing. Right. It's a weird thing because- You add one and you get more negative. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. but well, that's actually, because they're negative. Let's do a really quick video to illustrate that. Okay. Mr. Sams. Yes. You have an ugly nose. I know, and I'm feeling sad about it. I'm feeling very negative. You're feeling it. negative because yes. you have an ugly nose. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you, that problem can be rectified. Yes. How, think, how do you think I, so? I think I can give my ugly nose away. How do you feel now? I feel positive. Oh, no, yes. But I'm going to give it to you. And now how do you feel? <laughs> yes. See, now you have the duct tape nose. I'm ugly. And you oh, feel... Oh, my friends are going to make fun of me. I feel so negative. Exactly. Yeah. So the ugly nose is like an electron. Yeah. If you give the electron away the thing that got it is now negative. Now I feel negative because... And since I got rid of it, I feel positive. positive you see? Yeah, it's exactly. kind of an odd backwards thing. When you yeah. get something, you feel bad, and when you lose it, you feel good. But if it's an ugly nose, it makes sense, doesn't Perfect. it? Perfect. Okay. Well, that was kind of funny, Mr. Sims. Yeah. So, um, Duct tape. <laughs> notice the chloride, he has the negative charge, he has gained one electron or one right. ugly nose. Mm -hmm. And so he Got feels bad. That was like when I lost or I gained the yeah. electron exactly. and I felt pretty bad. Yeah, now on the other side of that is yeah. when I got rid of that elect ugly electron nose. Actually, let's I do it the reverse here. Let's let's say that there's there's an ion, there is, okay. called calcium. And calcium has a charge of positive 2. Now, if you look at the periodic table, his numbers are 20 and 40 right here. Now, that means he's going to have uh, 20 protons. Mm -hmm. Notice the protons don't ever change in the right. atomic number. Oh, it's the Always the same. Now, but the electrons are right. weird. With the plus 2 charge, that means it got rid of 2 
negatively charged electrons. So, so it's going to have 18 electrons. He's got only 18 electrons. Actually, it's interesting. These yeah, two numbers are the same. That's a whole other uh, discussion later on this, in this year. But the point here is you've got 18 electrons. And also, I wanted to make a note here, the positive 2 charge is important because you can have not just a positive or a negative charge, but you get positive 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, etc. Um, and so, yeah, so you would, you're only losing or gaining electrons. This is, Mr. Sam said, two ugly noses, maybe mm -hmm. two ugly ears. I don't know if we wanted to take our analogy. Ugly ears. You like your ears? Okay, well, I think they're ugly. So um, <laughs> you need to give them away. So anyways, or we can make them ugly by putting duct tape on We could do that, yeah. yeah exactly. So anyways, all right, so that's uh, it for this podcast. We'll see you in class. Bye.